Hello everyone. In this video, I will describe how can you set up FortiGate traffic shaper for specific groups of users and provide different bandwidth to these groups of users. FortiGate traffic shaping is a feature of the FortiGate firewall that limits network traffic flow, allowing you to allocate bandwidth to a specific user or group of users. By controlling bandwidth usage, you can optimize network performance and ensure critical applications have the necessary resource to operate smoothly. The effect of bandwidth usage depends on your configuration and you can set a bandwidth limit to prevent congestion and ensure all users have access to the resource they need. Ok, let's start configuration. At the first, I'm going to create a user and groups. start by creating user select local user you can also select another remote user click on next provide username and password this is one megabit per second user provide password click on next don't enable two-factor authentication Submit. Create another user for different bandwidth. This is 5 megabit per second user. Submit. Okay, now I'm going to create a group. I'm also using firewall local group. You can also use remote groups. Select a member and select one megabit per second user. Create another group for five megabit per second users. Assign member to it. Okay. Okay, I have a two group. One of them is one megabit limit and another have a five megabit limit. Because I'm using local group, I have to tell firewall that this specific user logged in with this IP. I'm using security mode on the interface, edit interface. Enable security mode, select captive portal. As you can see, I select two group because I want these groups to be authenticated through this captive portal. Click on OK. Let me check user monitor. OK, no one like me. Click on traffic shaping under policy and object from traffic shaper menu in the traffic shapers tab click on create a new to create a new traffic shaper select shaper write the name this is one megabit per second limitation select bandwidth unit as a megabit per second and give it one megabit per second click on ok Clone this, edit name of this shaper, edit this shaper and set the limitation to 5 megabit per second. Now I have to create a policy for this shaper. Click on traffic shaping policies, create a new, write the name. This policy is used for one megabit per second limitation. Source interface, our source interface is LAN port 2. Outgoing interface port 1. Source, select all IP addresses and user, select one megabit per second group. You can also select the user instead of group. Destination all. 
service all because this is test environment i select all for both of them enable apply shaper enable shade shaper and select one megabit also reverse shaper and also select one megabit okay this policy is created this policy apply traffic shaping on the one megabit per second users group to limit the, their bandwidth to one megabit per second now copy this policy paste it here edit this write the name five megabit per second Don't touch to that. Enable this. Okay, just change group membership. Instead of 1 megabit, select 5 megabit. And also change the shaper. Click on OK. That's fine. Let's start testing the shapers. Let me change his name. Okay. I'm going back to Windows Server. At the first, I have to log in to the captive portal. Try to go into CNN.com. Write username. I used 1 megabit per second at the first and after that I will be logging with a 5 megabit per second to check what's the difference between them. Yes, that's 1 Mbps. Write the password. Click on continue. Okay, now I'm going to speedtest.net to check my speed. Yes, that's work. As you can see, my speed limit to something like 1 megabit per second. Let's download the speed and after that, check upload the speed. As you can see, these are near to 1 megabit per second. Now I'm going to the authenticate logged in user okay try to log in again at this time i'm logging with a 5 megabit user to check the difference mm. i got the error Let me check what's the problem. This problem is related to browser. Let me check what's the problem. For every website, I got the same error. No, that's the same. Let me check the user status. 
maybe dropping station solve my problem because I dropped all session I lost my connectivity to FortiGate at the background as you can see let me check again no try to reconnect to the firewall no user like it maybe clearing browser cache will be solve my problem let me try clear everything close close chrome and re again open it let me check again okay now at this time i'm logged in with 5 megabit per second user write the password okay I'm live now I'm going to check my internet speed yes that worked fine as you can see my internet connection speed is something near to 5 megabit as I configure in the traffic shaper policy also my upload speed is near to 5 megabit per second these are details of our user let me check traffic shaping statistic click on traffic shaping as you can see these are our statistic I hope this video will be useful for you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like other videos. If you have any question, you can ask in the comments. Have a good day. Bye bye.